Hello everyone and welcome back to John Bill's High Quality Military Models. Okay, so I know a lot of people will recognise this HMS Victory build that I've been building this last two years, three years, sorry. But this is something new that I've never actually shown anybody before. And I thought it was probably around about time that I kind of showed people just at the point where I was around about 15, 16 years ago. This is when I was probably saying this is when I was the height of uh, probably my model building skills around then. I was probably building museum standards. And I'll just talk about one of the reasons why I kind of gave it all up and just walked away. Okay, so this is the, uh, a 160 scale. This is HMS Endeavour. And this is from Artisan Latina. And this was actually my fourth um, model kit build that I'd actually uh, started doing. I started model ship building around about 1990 and I first started off with a part work build from uh, Del Prado and that was from the HMS Bounty and when I finished that after two years I went on and I carried on their subscription once uh, issue 100 arrived I went on and I collected the uh, H, uh, the Cutty Sarg sorry and that kind of carried on and then I built I can't remember what it was I built after that but then after building three uh, wooden ships constantly back to back I kind of decided that I was going to move away from part work builds and this is when I decided to get obviously my first kit and this was this was this kit from like I say from Artisan Latina I don't know if this kit is still available but this is the first time I actually got a full kit that you build because I think after like after I'd done one or two ships, I think I'd, I'd felt confident enough to move away from like the step by step guides. Because for these kind of kits, as most people know, you get more of a booklet rather than the part work, and it's a lot harder to follow. It's the more designed for like more experienced shipbuilders, where there's normally like a little just a small picture, and you get like a little few lines of text in the. Uh, the back of the book as well but after like say after like two or three builds i kind of felt confident that i could kind of move on to that and i started this around about 2000 yeah about 2003 and like i say i'd say this is probably when i was kind of building museum standards like I say, i'll kind of show you some real close-ups of the, the planking back then So like most people, when I first used to wooden ship build, I used to do the uh, traditional finish of maybe like a, st a stained finish rather than like obviously with uh, HMS Victory where it's more of a painted finish. This is how I, I used to kind of build the ones that you like, used to see in like, in like the Admiralty and things like that. I used to see them looking more as obviously veneered and then varnished rather than actual painted. So actually when I decided to get this back out of the box. And this was around about uh, 2019, and I was starting to kind of get the itch to uh, to build again. I'd, okay, so I've been building this for around about a year, and I was making really good progress. I was pretty much virtually ready to rig in it, which is very much like I am with the, the HMS Victory. In fact, no, I wasn't ready for rigging. I'm not actually made any of the mass, so the next stage for this was actually start working on the mass. But then, obviously, unfortunately, my mum took poorly in 2004 and she she, she passed away in, with eight weeks. So I kind of, I'd, I'd lost a little bit of interest for one, for one ship building. So I, I kind of forced myself, you know what, I'll just shelf this for a little bit, take a little bit of time, take a bit of time that I needed to kind of just uh, refine myself. And I thought I'd get back onto this with probably six months or a year. But the trouble is, that six months or a year actually turned into nearly 16 years. So I actually didn't get this out again, out of storage until uh, 2019. So I can remember getting it out, putting it well, obviously on my desk and thinking I'd just pick up this, this, this leaflet again, this booklet, and I thought I'd just be able to hit the ground running. So how wrong was I? I opened this booklet and I got the, uh, like I said, the, the, all the plans out and I thought to myself, I, I haven't got a clue where to start with this build. It just everything just seemed uh, double dutch. I just I couldn't remember anything how to how I'd physically made things, how I'd physically got the plank into these levels, how I'd got all the railing and the cappings at these levels. I just I just I just completely forgot. 
So I kind of put it away again, but I was really, I'd got the itch again to build. So I really wanted to obviously start wooden ship building. And this is why I always say to people that I think one of the massive advantages for these part work builds, fair enough, they're not, they're not as accurate as a kit. And, and, but the good thing is about it, you get these amazing booklets, you get these amazing step-by-step -step booklets that really break things down for the beginner. And like I said, so that's why I decided to do, I actually went online and I, first of all, I started on YouTube, like most people do, is I found the, the builds guide for this and I watched it, maybe all the way through. I watched the all 100 issues, really enjoyed it, and that really did then set off my interest again. So I was luckily that, like I say, I, was, I managed to find the full kit on eBay and I actually paid around about £300 for this full kit. So then I kind of got it. And then straight away, I had to order all tools again because I'd got rid of the majority of all my tools. I'd sold them, you know, some time in them just after the Millennium. Can't remember because I just probably honestly thought that I'd never actually get back in shipbuilding again. So I had to order all my tools, and then the the, the kit came, and then what? Like I say, I mean, within I think eight days of actually starting this, I'd got it keeled, ribbed, planked, decked. And pretty much all the gun ports out were in the first eight days of actually actually obviously starting this because i just straight away even though i just needed that that initial like you do this you add these ribs this way you add the keel this way you add the planks this way i just need that initial this is what like a start point rather than like starting in the middle of a project so one, one of the reasons i kind of wanted to make this uh, this video today is just to tell people that you I mean is sometimes it's maybe better to start off with a part work build of something like a, a ship than it is to go straight onto the kit because these, even though, they, like I said, the quality of the kits are not brilliant, they're not perfect. I've had to do, I mean, like people say to me all the time, What's this kit? And this is a Diagostini model, uh, model space, Hedges Victory. But if I actually built it to how that kit looks, it would look nothing like this. So I can't really say it's a kit anymore because I've been modifying it and uh, scratch building the parts for the last year. But you, even if you just followed the instructions, you still get a really nice kit. And it's absolutely perfect for you know, part works. So I think it's perfect for beginners. So I had a comment from somebody yesterday, and I won't put it on the screen because it's just, it just a nice comment. And it really got me thinking about my own shipbuilding journey. He said it, it kind of got to a certain stage with his victory where he planked it and he cut out the, uh, the gun port. And then he, he said he'd, he'd recently lost his mum, so now Jimmy Shelton. And that's when that really kind of touched home to me and that's when I kind of made me think about my own personal you know, wood, wood, wooden shipbuilding journey. So that's why I kind of wanted to make this video today. And I, and I know not everybody will like this video, but I know a lot of people probably will and will probably have been in some kind of situation themselves where they've where they've, they've built building models and then they've kind of put them to the one side. But after that, I mean, that a break, uh, probably a lot longer than I thought, I eventually you know, really found the passion for building again. And I absolutely, absolutely love this build. And like I say, sometimes I put it on the shelf myself for two or three months because they're massively challenging and they drain and you have to, you, you, they, they consume me, these models, because it's thousands and thousands and thousands of working parts. But the, the, I mean, when this is built, you mean this every single piece will be handcrafted by myself and if i look on this for the rest of my life and think i made that and that's the joy of one ship building okay so will i ever get this finished i don't know i, I can't honestly say if i'll ever finish this off i've tried like i say tried once before and i may try again but whether because i like uh, i stopped after i'd lost my mum i don't know whether i'll ever finish this but who knows? Never say never. So like I said, I just wanted to show you this, this kind of personal journey, like saying, like, and also that, I mean, after, don't expect to get, I mean, you, I've seen people that who, who build these ships before and I think they expect to, they're going to get this perfectly planked ship on your first time. You're not going to do it. My bounty would look, look nothing like this. The hull on this until I actually started sanding it was nothing compared to the level I'd got to after three or four ships. So, like I say, it's a natural progression. The more you do, the better you get. And then hopefully, after you've been doing it for a few years, you get to the uh, standard of planking that most people do after just like their experience. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Quite a, quite a personal video, but I wanted to kind of put it out there exactly. You know, I mean, a bit of my uh, model building history, 
So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Take care everyone.